Welcome to Array Polar Mic Tutorials. In the third tutorial of the series, we will explain how to select a pose for monitoring a microphone, the items that a virtual microphone can incorporate, and how to adjust the select pose for matching. Let's go! Array Polar Mic has a selector with six microphone poses to begin the process of matching. The most appropriate pose will depend on our orientation toward the microphone and the perspective we need of the scene. Due to the wide variety of shapes and textures of microphones, some models require adding the XLR connector, clamp or shock mount to the model. Each pose of the selector displays the items incorporating the microphone and its orientation. For good matching results, it is necessary that the virtual and real microphones have the same elements and that they be oriented the same way. The poses for each microphone allow the monitoring of directivity from useful perspectives taking into account the most common microphone positions in various instrument sets. We will monitor the directivity of the dynamic microphone ElectroVoice PL35 located in the Tom 2. The third pose is the best one for observing the polar pattern from a frontal perspective. To avoid awkward postures to the user during the monitoring, Airy Polar Mic allows to partially vary the orientation of the pose chosen for the microphone. This variation is done by dragging your finger across the screen from left to right or up and down. In this case, we find ourselves with a frontal view of the microphone standing up. If we couldn't change the position of the virtual object, we would have to make the process of engagement with this position. We can vary the position of the virtual mic before the matching process and thus make the same action more comfortably, without forced postures from the user. This way, the user can comfortably get away from the microphone. We note the subacardio diagram of the model PL35 and we observe a dead zone at 120 and 240 degrees for all frequencies except 16 kHz where the loss is somewhat smaller. We also note that for this acute frequency we begin to have some loss in uptake at 30 and 330 degrees. It is a very directional microphone, especially in acute. In the example we can see that it allows capturing the TOM2 in maximum intensity and having a noticeable loss of uptake for other nearby noise sources such as cymbals. When we track a microphone, we can move with our device and approach it or move away from it and rotate about 60 degrees from the original position. This gives us some freedom of movement for each pose. If we want to see it from another point of view, we must change the pose from the mic library screen and select the corresponding pose from that new perspective. When we acquire some practice in the matching process, the change of pose is an agile process. For more information about Ari Polar Mic, visit our web Ari Tech Labs. On our YouTube channel, you will find more tutorials and videos of Ari Polar Mic. Thanks for your attention and see you soon!